party freaking people. What's going on? I am about to declutter my kitchen cabinets. So I just organized my kitchen cabinets. They've gotten so bad. I've been wanting to do this for a few months now. They're, uh, let me just show you what they look like, okay? They're, they look really bad. Let me show you. Here we go. So for our drawer, which is not too bad, we have this drawer here. We have this one. This drawer, which is kind of a disaster. I need to get rid of some stuff in here. We have this cabinet. It's kind of hard to see inside of it, but it's not the best. We have up here. I need to get rid of some of those glasses. We have here, which some of those bowls could probably go away. I need to organize this, honestly, a lot more. And then this, these three right here, I, those are the worst ones, okay? We have this one, which used to be more organized, but now it's kind of all over place. Uh, it has just a ton of stuff in there. And then that one is all over the place also. Hello, my friends. It is editing voiceover Becky coming at you live from my studio apartment. Um, live from my apartment. You guys, okay, you guys know my husband and I love Survivor. That was just an RHAP reference for anyone who watches my channel who also listens to Survivor podcast. Okay, so um, what am I doing? So basically what I decided to do and what I've been wanting to do since August, it is October, and... Well, I've been putting it off just because it's one of those things where you can because you close the drawers and the cabinets and you don't see it. Basically, I just wanted to give everything a nice clean, make it look fresh. I'm not super worried about everything be being in its exact perfect spot. I just like things to have a general home and for my husband and I both to have a general idea for where everything goes. And that makes sense for both of us. I do check in with him to see if he thinks these things are okay. Like, when I move like the straws and with the forks or whatever, I'm like, hey, does that make sense to you? And he's like, cool, yeah. Because we both put away the dishes. We're both sharing the load of housework. So I want it to make sense for both of us. I want it to be like a long-term fix and not him come back like a few days later and be like, what? Why did you move that? You know? So I just wanted to make things look nicer, honestly. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of things in our house we probably should – especially me, go through and fix it every now and then because things like this get away from my husband and I because it's easy to just kind of like throw stuff in there. And we, I'm learning through each decluttering um, stage that I take is that we don't use as much as we think we do. So it's nice to kind of like get rid of the stuff that we haven't used since the last time I decluttered or the last time I cleaned a space. And honestly, that's like the easiest way for me personally to get rid of things that I don't need. My dogs are snoring, if you can hear that. That's life with two big dogs. All right, so here are the finished drawers and cabinets. They feel much better. Do not anticipate them looking like that in like a few weeks, but they look very similar to what they did before, just a little bit more cleaned, a little bit more organized. And I don't know why our apartment painted our cabinets black, but they are. Um, so you can't really see them, but they it feels so much better, I'm telling you. It is. It just makes me feel like I got a weight lifted off my shoulders getting that done today. I think I'm gonna donate everything that you see here to so you guys. Hopefully, we'll see how this lasts. I mean, usually when I reorganize, it takes like a few weeks for us to kind of figure out if it actually works for us or not, and then we kind of adjust certain things and put things where they are gonna belong in like you know, the new organization or the new organization, but it's generally like, it feels way better because that has been haunting me for months. All right, if it appears that I'm sweating, it's because I am. I just dug out my sweaters from the back of our storage closet and reorganized it because it was like rough in there. So I am going to go through my closet and my drawers with you guys and we're going to get out or take away our summer clothes, put them away and get our fall clothes out. It is October. I am done with the summer. I barely have any summer clothes anyways. So we're going to go through all this, take out what we don't wear in the winter months, keep and then we're going to make a donate pile because I got some um, stuff out of the kitchen yesterday. That I want to donate so we're gonna take a trip to Goodwill or America's Thrift in the next few days and get rid of this junk.
Okay, in the floor before you, you see our extension cord. No, I'm just kidding. This whole pile here is going into my tub. This pile is going to be donation. Um, I could see if my sister wants some of these though, because she may like this. He likes to be wherever I am, don't ya? Yeah. Missy's on the porch because she's independent. But my bugs, he was his mom. All right, so we're gonna go through these drawers and um, put our summer shorts away, slash go through and see if we need to donate anything because it's dingy or just get rid of it because I have worn it to smithereen. So let's get going. All right, here is my after of my drawers here. We got our workout clothes. Those never changed for me. Um, look how organized my jeans look, it's amazing. And then we got sweaters in here. I'm gonna have way more in here in a minute. And then pajamas and like sweatpants and t-shirts and my little one, my little jumper at the situation. This whole pile is still summer. That pile is donation. It says spring and summer shoes and clothes, but it has -da -da -da, sweaters. Okay, so I have a sweater addiction, obviously. I'm even wearing one right now. It's more of like sweatshirt. Sweatshirts and sweaters. Girl, that that is my season, sweater weather. That meme is a fully about me. Um, and hello, hi, I don't feel like it's a problem. And if you think it's a problem, maybe that says more about you than me. Right, sweaters are, are in the closet. I we don't have a ton of space in our closet, and so we maximize our room. Um, I have all of my sweaters though, and my winter shoes are just those and these, which is fine. And we have this bin which has some Christmassy things in there, which I, you can't see, but you do see my ornament. But I found a Christmas sweater in my bin, so I tucked it in here because some of the most of this stuff is like cold weather like outside gear and I have shoved in here Christmas gift surprises for people who watch these videos so don't peek hey friends okay so I was not planning on filming today like vlogging while I'm out because I'm trying to film for a different video um while I'm out today and I'm trying not to like confuse myself with too many things going on However, in Walmart just now, I hit the freaking clearance jackpot with Ibotta. So those like Maria's cereals were marked down originally to what I thought was like a dollar or something, <laughs> which uh, um, would have been a great deal. However, they were marked down to 50 cents. And on Ibotta, there is a dollar and twenty-five back on each box, and I just had to share that with you guys because it brought me a tremendous, tremendous amount of joy. So I needed to share it with my friends. And I'm not filming like a regular grocery haul this week, so I don't think that's gonna make it onto the internet unless I share it with you guys. So henceforth. Also, I got a Celsius while I'm in there because I have a problem. I have packages from Boldify. Oh my God. Okay, wait, this is exciting. Okay, so what do I even show you? Okay, so we got the hair thickening serum. I love, I love Boldify's packaging and I also love just like everything about them. Oh, I have really been enjoying all of or my Boldify hair thickening spray. I use it every few days. Oh my gosh, their stuff smells so good. Okay, so that's what that one is. And then we have the full blowout spray. Oh my gosh, y'all. They kill it on packaging. Oh, this has heat protectant in it. Okay, hello, a new favorite product. What? Okay, so I don't tell the curly community. You guys are my friends, so I know you can keep a secret. I like blow drying my hair on higher heat because I have a lot of hair and if I don't, it takes me forever to diffuse my hair and I won't do it. So if I blow dry my hair on a higher heat setting, I'm getting heat damage. <laughs> Which you're not supposed to do if you got curly hair, you're supposed to like, you know, do medium heat. And I'm like, have you tried? Are you guys crazy? 
You guys live your whole life with that? God, everything that they make smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a hair thickening. Nope, that's the full bl body blowout spray. And this is the Revitalized and Refresh Dry Shampoo. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is new. Woo, okay, it exploded a little bit in transit, but that is okay. Because <laughs> it doesn't have a lid, that's why it exploded in transit. Should we try it right now? I don't really use, I mean, I use the hair dance shampoo, but I haven't really used, oh my gosh, like a spray, like an aerosol sh dry shampoo in years. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. <laughs> Happiness is voluminous hair. God, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. All right, thank you so much to Boldify for sending me these. Uh, I am an affiliate with them, so if you wanna try them out, make sure you use that link in the description. If you do use my link, I will get a commission off of your order. Ah, I'm so excited. I, I'm telling you, ever since I started using Boldify, my hair smells so freaking good. And everything about their company is so me. Like, I love big, voluminous, happy hair. It just, it's just my favorite thing, so. Anyways, it's my little unboxing. What's up, friends? I'm sitting at a 7-Eleven right now. I just went and met my friend for a walk. We did a 45-minute walk downtown. Malcolm and I are, are hanging out. I took him with me because um, I can only manage one dog at a time. Garrett's working today. Um, but I was editing the video that you guys are watching right now before I left. And the, I think the time frame is a good, a good time frame for a video. Plus, like... I feel like the things that are together mostly make sense and I don't want to put too many things in one video. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and and I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me as we went through our kitchen and our, we put our sweaters out and I so appreciate you guys. If you have lasted this long, thank you so much for watching this entire video. You are the best and please make sure you subscribe and hang out for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.